Hello, Tom Fresno here from the Naval History and Heritage Command with another one of our artifact spotlights. This is where we take a look at the timeline of the U.S. Navy and pull out different artifacts and teach you about them. And today we are going to be focusing on the WAVES. So what does WAVES stand for? Women Accepted for Voluntary Emergency Services. It was a program that was started in 1942 by the U.S. Navy and the main purpose behind it was to release officers and men and replace them with women in shore establishments. Most enlisted waves worked in jobs traditionally performed by women, such as clerical work, uh, health care, and storekeeping. Also, they took over jobs typically held by men uh, in occupations like aviation mechanics, uh, a parachute riggers, control tower operators, radio operators, yeomen, and statisticians. And the WAVE's uniform actually kind of has a cool backstory by itself. Uh, the, at the time, the assistant secretary of the Navy, uh, John, James Forrestal, uh, his wife was a fashion editor for Vogue. When they established the WAVE's, she went up to New York to uh, Mainbachers and asked them if they could design a uniform free of charge. And they did. And the uniforms themselves, I've met and talked with many uh, former waves from World War II, and they talked about how much they loved the uniform. It was practical, it functioned very well, and it worked really well too. And uh, the uniform that you see next to me is the, the, the regular enlisted blues, where you have the, uh, the the blue button-down shirt underneath, the jacket, uh, the of course the kerchief tie, and the skirt, which does have pockets. And in the summer, they had a their whites, or they also had a seersucker work dress and jacket that went over the top of the dress. It was very fashionable, and even the cover that you see the mannequin next to me wearing was also considered very fashionable at the time too. And the very top part, which is white right now, is interchangeable with all of the other uniforms that uh, the, the waves were issued. So these uniforms were very popular uh, with the women who served in the waves. Uh, they all, all of the former waves talked about how they loved it. And after the war, when they got out of the service, many of them got a book that talked that explained how they could turn their uniforms into regular civilian clothing. And a lot of them wore their uniforms as civilian clothing because they enjoyed them so much. Now the waves were around until 1948 when the Women's Armed Services Integration Act was passed by Congress. This meant that you didn't need a specialized branch like the waves. Women could just enlist into the military and serve. And it took women serving in the waves, serving in the WAC, serving in the Yeoman F's in World War I that really opened the door for women serving in the military today. So all of the women serving in the military today can thank the trailblazers like the waves. And with that, if you would like more information, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next Artifact Spotlight.